this is my vlog. This is my house. And I, I look like junk right now because I just got home from work, but hashtag don't care. Hey guys, it's Red. I am doing a vlog. I have to apologize for the long hiatus. Roxy and I were having a little bit of technical difficulties. Um, my editing computer decided to take a shit. I've tried doing everything I possibly can to fix it. I've tried putting in new RAM, getting a new battery. It's a laptop. Um, <clears throat> I tried fixing partitions. I tried... Um, reinstall, uninstalling and reinstalling the operating system. I tried doing a total wipe on the hard drive. I've tried absolutely everything putting in, I think I said putting in new RAM, but I've tried everything I can possibly think of. Um, I actually even did a total system check which took about eight hours to complete because I have 16 gigs of RAM in there and um, still it, it found nothing wrong with the computer but yet it still won't do anything. So <laughs> I'm going to have to send it away and have somebody take a look at it, but that is expensive and I'm a poor kid, so I can't quite do that. But, here's a vlog! Hi! Um, in the last vlog, Roxy asked me to explain to you how the boy and I met. So, I got some footage from um, last, a couple of days ago when the boy and I went mudding. Um, I got some footage of us cleaning the Jeep, so you can watch that while I talk about how me and the boy met. So we met in a pretty normal way. Um, like most people do these days, we met on a dating website. And I know that a lot of people like to say, oh no, we met here, we met there, or you know, we met at a bar, or at a wine tasting, or something like that. But the truth of the matter is, is that's where we met. We met on a dating website. And I'm not ashamed of that, you know. The both of us went through a lot of people on that dating website that were really, really crappy before we found each other. But we eventually did find each other. Now, our first date was, again, the obligatory first date. Let's go to a movie. I think, if I remember correctly, we saw Gods and Kings. But uh, it... It was one of those biblical movies, but I'm not exactly sure which one. And um, it was it was a good first date for me because I was really, really nervous because I hadn't been on a first date in quite a while. And um, the last time I went on a first date, I ended up dating the guy for a year and he was absolutely horrible to me and, and everything like that. So, you know, it was it was a very scary thing for me to do. And... <clears throat> Just going to a movie gave me a chance to just calmly sit there, watch a movie, and not have to worry about having to impress somebody. So, we were going through the movie, about halfway through the movie, um, the biggest thing that I remember from our first date, because it was quite a while ago, um, is that halfway, about halfway through the movie, instead of reaching for my hand or doing the obligatory yawn and arm around the shoulder kind of thing he did the absolutely most perfect thing he probably could have done which was just very gently and very confidently confidence is key you know very confidently just put his hand on my knee and that really is what solidified the first date for me because it was just enough contact for me to know that he was there and know that he was interested but yet it wasn't so much contact that I felt absolutely uncomfortable um, because I literally just met him. This was the first time we had ever met and I was late because, you know, I am me and that is how I am. I live on, you know, five minutes late everywhere I go. But because I was late, I didn't get a chance to talk to him before the movie. We literally had to just rush right into the movie and watch the movie. And, um, you know, so I think that was pretty, pretty perfect for me. We had talked over the internet and um, on the phone a couple of times before we met but um, you know it turns out that he you know turned into the perfect person for me and um, you know we do a lot of things together we also do a lot of things separately but we do a lot of things together like mudding and <laughs> fishing things like that oh there's my friend's dog Emily isn't she cute um, but we do a lot of things together and a, a lot of weird things that a lot of my friends don't think that I do, like mudding and fishing and, 
and things like that but I really do enjoy it as well as sitting at home and watching movies and playing video games as you guys know I love playing video games but um you know that is the beauty of our relationship is that we don't have to have everything in common but yet oh look there's my friend Eric um we don't have to have everything in common but we have enough in common that we enjoy our time together and we don't get sick of each other so you know we just we do have a good time and one of the things that I love about him is that I can be myself without having to worry about <laughs> without having to worry about trying to be somebody I'm not he accepts me for all of my weirdness for all of my craziness for the times when I am just bouncing off the walls happy and giggly and you know poking him in the butt and all that kind of weird stuff that I like to do but yet he loves me even on the times when I'm a pain in the butt and I don't want to do anything and I've had a bad day and I, I look like living hell because I didn't feel like putting makeup on this morning and you know I had a long day at work and I'm just beat down and tired and I don't want to talk to anybody he still loves me and I think that is the best part of our relationship is that I don't have to pretend to be anyone I'm not when I'm tired I can be tired when I'm cranky I can be cranky and no matter what he knows that I love him and I know that he loves me so <laughs> it is the absolute perfect relationship I you know I couldn't I couldn't ask for anything more from him than to just be himself and accept me for the weird that I am because I am weird and I am okay with that you know I've been weird all my life and all of my life I've tried to change my weirdness and I finally found somebody who I don't have to not be weird around and I think that is the goal because everybody is weird in their own respect and the goal is to find somebody who loves you weird for exactly what it is you're weird and I found mine and I love him for his weird too because don't get me wrong he is weird <laughs> but <laughs> he is the perfect weird for me and I am the perfect weird for him and all in all it was wonderful um and hopefully we will have a wonderful life together we'll see so that was how we met and uh, it was a beautiful day so that's it that's the story Roxy it's your turn talk about whatever you want to talk about um yeah so I guess I will see you guys in the next vlog. I love you very much and from my heart to yours, bye.